Experiments. There are primarily five research methods in psychology that are used to collect various forms of data that makes for a case and argument from a psychological perspective. 1. Experiments. 2. Self-reports. 3. Case studies. 4. Observation. 5. Correlations. Experiments. An experiment is an objective, scientific procedure used to make a discovery, run, and test a hypothesis and to present a known fact, to check validity. An investigation that is conducted to establish a primary cause and effect relationship, is called an experiment. The cause and effect relationship in question, is basically the direct proportion of both entities meaning if a cause may occur, so may the effect. This factor is what may explain the onset of events in the experiment with the cause being the event that triggers another event known as the effect. By finding out the cause and effect relationship, the experiment can be designed to manipulate, isolate and maneuver certain variables to achieve a desired aim of the study. These variables are known as the independent variable and the dependent variable. The 4 has a causal effect on the DV, meaning the 4 is the variable that researchers systematically use, manipulate and control and the DV is the variable which bears the effect and thus is measured by the experimenter. An example of this would be, how if an experiment is conducted to determine the effect of increased inclination on the treadmill, on an athlete's subsequent pace and stamina, as a conditioning test. The increased inclination which is can be adjusted, manipulated and controlled time to time, in order to check different scenarios and possibilities, such as categories like low and high, would be the four in this case. The athlete's reactionary response which is being measured, his pace and stamina in the given conditions high and low, would be our DV, which would be measured by quantitative and objective measures such as the speed monitor, timer and his pulse rate. Another important set of variables are, that confounding variable which has an unintentional, undetermined effect on the DV and that extraneous variable which could affect the DV but it is a variable that can be controlled by the experimenter. In reference to the above mentioned example, an example of the confounding variable would be the athlete's own willingness and ambition to do the test slash challenge which might affect his pace and stamina stats. Whereas, the extraneous variable would be the athlete's diet routine which is possibly already designed and followed by the athlete but if interfered with substance abuse like alcohol may alter his performance on the test.